Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, me and Drake Yo. are going to be ranking the NES Capcom games. Yeah, I didn't even get to get this started, because I didn't even know we were starting. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't even get a countdown. Uh -huh. And also, I didn't even open my Chromebook. I didn't even get it open. Haha. Uh -huh. So, what do you mean, haha? Uh -huh. Oh, Drake. Alright, I'll go. Nah. Why? Nah. Uh, why? It was your idea to do a Capcom tier list anyway, so you kind of got us dead. Just wait, give me a sec. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we can't talk about something in the me in meanwhile. Um, so what do you want to talk about meanwhile? I got this uh game genie that doesn't work, guys, and I don't know how the fuck to get working. I've already given them all my tips, so... And nothing works. Also, bro, uh, underneath D tier, add an E tier. Yep. Okay, uh, it's loading. Like, it's getting up. Hmm. I'm still on the Create a Classic Mega Man All Special Weapons tier list. Okay. Because we were gonna, we were gonna do the, we were gonna upload the photos for the podcast, or for uh, on your community page. Oh yeah. And we'll do that after. Tier Lister Maker. Okay. So. Um. Okay. So what is it called? Uh, NES Capcom Games Tier List Maker. Just um, put in NES Capcom Games. NES Capcom Games. It has, like, no profile. It just has, like, up... It has just, like, blocks. I'm supposing it's this one? Yep. Also, add an E tier right below D. Yep. Oh, wait, John Riggs made this. Who? Oh. Look, John Riggs made this one. Cool. Who's that? Hey, if you guys don't know, what? Who's that? That's the guy on, uh, YouTube. Remember, I was just talking to you about Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is Mega Man 1 even on here? Yeah, it is right next to Mega Man 6. Okay, move that back a little bit to where it's supposed to be. Um, so, yeah, DuckTales is also out of order. I'll put Darkwing Duck right behind DuckTales 2. I now let's just get this started. Yeah. So, starting off with a strong title, 1942. I'll give it a solid B. Have you played it? Yeah. Retro games. Oh. I'm actually gonna put in a E. Actually, no, I'm putting it F. Damn, really? I thought you said this was a solid one. No. You just said that we're kicking off with a solid one. Yeah, we're kicking my nuts with a solid one. No, actually, <laughs> yeah. bad I don't remember it being that good either. I'll give it a C. It's horrible. Uh, it's buggy. It's not very good at with its controls. And also the music, the soundtrack. There's one song, and wouldn't you know, it's just a bunch of weird screeches and stupid sounds. So it's I just out. think it's good because maybe I played a, well, on the keyboard, which maybe had better controls. I don't know. No, the NES is a very good control. I thought you just said the controls suck. No, not... The NES controller is perfectly fine. Yeah, but the controls for the game sucks, you said. Well, I mean, not the controls for the game. It's just the glitchiness and stuff. Okay. It's not very... does not support it very well, so... Anyway, what's the next one? 1943. This one's actually very good. It's going A tier. I... I, um... As Josh will see, I just got this one for Christmas. 
cool. And yes, I uh, and I have the I have actually the rare variant of the 1942. I have the wide screw variant of this one, which is the rare version. I mean, it's not more expensive, but well, I just got this game, and I think it's an A tier. It's very good. Okay, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna give it C along with the Brotherman. I don't find it to be that much of an improvement. Alright, and I then I also fun. I also have the next game as well. The Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Uh, S tier. I gave it a strike. It's a solid A for me. An S tier. I love the exploration. I just don't like how hard it is. Yeah, it is very hard, but the exploration is fun. Yeah. And we got a, um... Bionic Commando. Uh, I thought Bionic Commando was bottom A. Right, falls right behind 1943. I thought it was alright. I thought it was alright. I'll give it a solid B. Did you play this one? Yeah, I've played almost all of them on this list except for like two or three. Oh. I mainly just oh. saw them on retro games because they have cool box arts and played them. Wait, uh, Chippendale's Rescue Rangers no, is No, we also... got one right before no, that. No, just Chippendale's Rescue Rangers is also in the wrong order, so... Oh. Just wait until I say something. Uh, anyways, uh, Gold... Is that Gold Medal Challenge? Nah, this game was horrible. I never played it. It's not great. I'll just put it in. I don't know it's here. Actually, I'll put it in E tier. Better than 19. Actually, no, I'll switch the two around. I made an ID case here. Okay. Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Um, it gets a... an S tier. Gets an S tier. It's an amazing game. Oh, uh, yeah. S tier. And then one of the rarest NES games, Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2. It's an A tier. It falls right behind 1943. I liked it more than the original, but top S for now. Damn, alright. Um, and then we have... Viper. Uh, Viper... Never played. Viper was... C tier. It wasn't anything to watch. Buster. Never played it. Hmm? Never played it. Uh. Um, destroy the army. Damn. That's not actually what it's called. That's just the front cover. Uh... What's it called? I forget what this game is called. I do remember playing it, because I remember the box art, but I forget what it's called. Yeah, I don't know what this game is. Do you, Oh, hi! Uh, hola! Soy Doya! Do you know the name of this game? Of course you don't. You've never played it. No, uh, I fucking don't. I didn't like this game. It's e tear. It falls behind 1942. Have you played every game on this list? Yep. What about Yo Noid? Yo Noid? Uh, where is it? At the very end. At the very end? You said uh, you don't no, even I know what it is. Yeah, I, I haven't played Yonoid, no. Alright. Anyway, next we got I have seen uh, gameplay of it, though. Next we got up, uh... Uh, I, I also can't. I know it's... Uh, I played it. It's not great. I also played it. I remember clicking on that one box art. Yeah, so I don't same. really remember that much about it, but I remember it being like a solid D. Yeah, I don't... Mm, I'm gonna put it in the same place. I don't love it. Now we got Duck DuckTales. Uh, very overrated. Mm, I give it a solid top A. I'm giving it a B. DuckTales 2, one of the most expensive games for the NES. Yup, it's also one of the... I think it's the sixth rarest or the fifth rarest game for the NES. Um... Damn, it retails for like... Over two thousand dollars. Uh, it's not really than... like two hundred on eBay. Yeah, but like according to price charting, it's like two grand for a loose copy. That's perfect. Huh. All right. So it's like middle A. Yeah, I'll give. It, I'll put it right below. And then Darkwing Duck, top S tier. I wouldn't say top. Yep. Mm, yeah. No. It. It's top S. You can't disagree with that. So far, best game on the NES. Best, so far, best Capcom game on the NES. Yeah. And then we have... Is this Dragon Quest? No, it's not Dragon Quest. Uh, I never played this. I never played this one either. Add an IDK tier at the bottom, then. 
I'm not going to. I'm just going to put an F because I don't know. Alright. And then Ghost and Goblins. Uh, oh, wait, that's Ghost and Goblins too. I oh. Think. Uh, yeah, it still deserves where I put it. And Ghost and Goblins 1, it was a fine game. I'll give it, like, top C. I'll give it a D. I liked Ghost and Goblins, but it's too hard. I'll give it a D for disappointment. Kind of like you. It doesn't even deserve my cock rating. Cock rating. Cock. For oh. C. Anyways, uh... Cock amazing. Uh, I don't know what this next one is, so, you know, the drill. Uh, and then, th I think this is Shootout or something? Never played. I don't like it. Next up is Wings, which I thought was okay, I uh, guess. Yeah, it's like a, it's, it's, it's gets, uh, it gets my cock rating. Bottom B. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh, Little Mermaid, uh. Very unpopular opinion, I like this. Give it like a... It's going top B, it's going above DuckTales. I give it a top D. Why, is it just because it's... Why, is it just because it's The Little Mermaid? I just didn't enjoy it. You played this one? Yep. God oh, damn, you played a lot of games. Anyways, Dream Master. Here. Dream Master, I love Dream Master. Dream Master was good. I'm putting it in bottom S. I put it at, like, middle A, right behind DuckTales, but above DuckTales, too. Oh, shit. Mega Man the next six games we got. So, um, they're all going S. Mega Man 1. Mega Man 1, for me, was a, uh... Uh... Now that me and Drake aren't showing this, this is an E... And Mega Man 1 is an E-tier game. Holy shit. And for 100 bucks, I feel like if I ever buy it, I'll feel scammed. Then don't buy it. I have to buy it to complete the Mega Man series, so... And if it's not worth your time, then don't buy it. Meh, 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 meh. Anyway, What's next that? is a Mega what Man... What was that? Meh, 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 what was that? Next is Mega Man 2, which is a fine game. It's not the best in the series. Amazing. I'll give it a B tier. Okay, all of them are going in S. I'll I don't care. I'll give it care. top B. Uh, Mega Man 3. It goes a uh, second S tier right behind Darkwing Duck. S tier... Uh -huh. And then we got four, which is S tier. Oh, shut up! Yeah, Let me say something. Five is S tier. Sorry, guys. I had to hang up on Drake. He was being a bitch. Uh, anyway, uh, Mega Man Four is next. Uh, again, this is my least favorite of the series. I don't think it's bad though. It's just my least played one. I'll give it. I'll give it bottom C. Uh. So. Uh, yeah. Next is Mega Man Five, which I will give a bottom S. Actually, no. I'll give it, like, top A. Uh, if you guys hear that, I'm just calling Drake back. See if he'll pick up. Anyway, and next is, uh, Mega Man 6. And Mega Man 6, in my opinion, it goes, like, uh... Eh? Second top S. Hey, Drake, you there? You're muted and video off, if you are. I'm not here. Okay. Why'd you hang up the call? Because you were being annoying. No, I wasn't. I was just saying that all of them are S tier. Yeah, and you were cutting me off. I was trying to say something. Didn't I just say that they were all S tier and be off with that? Okay, I sure. was literally about to say it, 6 is S tier and you cut me off. Anyway, yeah, I put 4... You didn't have to cut me off. I put 4 at bottom C, I put 2 at top of B, I put 5 at top A, and I put 3... Okay, so now you like 2 more than 4 again. I, uh, right. put, uh, 3 at 3rd S, and I put 6 at 2nd S. Wait, where'd you put 5? I know it's, like, D or something. Well, uh, top A. Yeah. Oh, top A. Wow, that's actually surprising. Okay, final fight. Um. Wait, I got Mickey Mouse repeat. Rep yeah, I already did that one. Uh, sorry. Bottom oh, where a. is it? Bottom A. Goes, uh, bottom A. Yeah. Alright, I played it. Like middle A. I played it. It was a D for me. Top D. Wow. Holy shit. It's a $9 game. What do you expect? You could say the same thing about Iron Sword 2, and that's, like, a really good game. Fair, but, like, like, compared to, like, everything else, it's really not the best. 
Anyways, uh, we got Mighty Final Flight. Uh, this game's actually pretty good. Never played. For the most part, uh, it's going above Dark or no, it's going below Darkwing Duck in this year. Is there anything you need to say or what? Oh, I never played it. Don't know this next one. So it's going F tier. Uh, oh God, Street Fighter 2010. I do not know where I'm going. It's top C tier. F. Have you played it? Yes. I gave it a shot on Retro Games because it was Street Fighter. It sucks. I guess a little bit. Nah. It's the worst Street I Fighter thought, game. I thought it was what? Worst Street Fighter game. It's not even a Street Fighter game. It says Street Fighter. Fighter. Hmm? Nothing. Yeah, but the characters from Street Fighter are not in it. Still, it's a Street Fighter game. I don't know why it's called Street Fighter. Hmm. It's not even, it doesn't even involve the characters from Street Fighter in this game. Anyways, next is, um, Strider. Uh, never played. E tier. Don't play it, it's not great. Tailspin, this is a C tier, bottom C tier game. This is a bottom D tier game. Have you played it? Yeah, I played it, like, because it looked like a funny game. Actually, no, it's, yeah, it's going bottom D tier. It reminds me of that, uh, dog meme that, like, that dog video where he's in a plane, like, what are you doing? You've probably never seen it. Type, I don't know what the hell this guy's talking about in the comments if he even enables them. I can't help if they're enabled, no. Anyways, um, Willow, or not Willow, Whatever this next game is, I don't know what it is. Never played. Yeah, same. Willow, uh... Never played. It's like... I don't know, it's a middle C tier. I don't even really care about it. And Yonoid, I've already... I've watched it. I haven't actually played it. I, I know, have right? played Yonoid on Retro Games. It's, uh... It's, uh, like, a second top B. It's way too hard. Yeah... I can see where you're going. I'll put bottom B. Just because uh, it looks... I don't yeah. actually know. Uh, this is our, um... This is my version of the Capcom tier list. I'll post Drake's, uh... When this video goes up. Which is what, tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.